Welcome back to another back page gaming video. Today, once again, we are looking at another winter wildcard player. Today, it is Junior Messias. It's the objective card. He comes with a free winter wildcard token, which is always appreciated. Rob's going to be asking me some questions about the card. We didn't get the answer whether it's worth it, you know, just on merit alone. Rob, let's get into it. Absolutely. He looks like an interesting card. I'm not going to lie to you, Jack. If you uh, are a big fan of the channel, keep up to date with every single one of our videos, then you'll know that I use his uh, a silver version like his normal yeah. so we're a bit ahead of the curve aren't we really jack in we many are. ways we are yeah and Wait, i like that one to it's honest, tiresome yeah. being you know that ahead of the curve but yeah exactly yeah he's got a plus two skill update which is obviously very welcome around these parts oh yeah so jack i suppose first of all how was the objective completing was it easy um i'd, I would, I'd say yeah I'd, i'll say it was easy i'd say it was a bit time consuming having to score in ten separate Serie A games, uh, ten separate games with a Serie A player. Sorry. Yeah. Um, was it worth it? Absolutely, Robbie. This card okay. is really good. Really. Yeah, okay. yeah. I was really impressed with him. Um, what were your first impressions? Damn, this guy feels like a like a Vinny Junior Junior. Right. Is, okay. Yeah. You no, know, he feels like a little baby Vinny. Um, yeah. Which I suppose is, is you know, it's, it's not a bad comparison. No. Listen, I'm not saying that this guy's a world beater, but he is. He's really enjoyable. I think that's yeah. what objective cards are always quite good at doing. Yeah, definitely. I had fun unlocking him using some of my Serie A players that I don't really. I'm never going to use, to be honest with you. Um, yeah. And then actually having unlocked him, then I took him into the icon swaps, uh, Serie A objective. Yeah. And I had a lot more fun with him there. That's where I got most of the gameplay, to be honest with you guys. So. First impression was, damn, this guy is way faster than 88 pace. Genuinely. He, yeah. I'm not going to say he was one of the fastest players I've used this year, but he's he's definitely up there. I used a hunter on him, so, I mean, he did have 98 pace. 98 pace, it says. Yeah. Um, yeah. But, Rob, he was really fast. He felt really good on the ball. His shooting was very good on his left foot in certain situations. Elaborate. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll say this is the this is the one thing, not the one thing. This is the main thing I think that lets down the card is his shooting. It's kind of weird, and mm. I don't know. I mean, his power shot I think was is really good. Okay, much like most left footed players, I was really impressed by his shooting with that shot selection. However, onto a finesse, pretty crap. Really, really? yeah. yeah. Um, 84 curve, right. it's not bad, really. I know, but... I was just looking at that, because I try not to look at in-game stats too much, because I feel like yeah. I'm obsessed a bit about them. But Yeah, definitely. His right foot was also terrible, really not as, you know, it's not a three-star weak foot ever. It feels like a two. Yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah I'd actually, I'd go, I'd, I'd go that far. Yeah. But, obviously, like you say, Rob, he's on a five-star skill upgrade, and he does feel really smooth when pulling off the skills. Yeah, he does. It reminds me a bit, Jack, of Flashback Mahrez yeah. in many ways. Yeah, um, I can see that. I can see yeah. that. 88 pace, 88 dribbling, which I think Mahrez has as well. 84 passing, Mahrez has 83. Yeah. Pretty damn similar, to be honest. Um, I'll tell you, you know what the card reminds me of is the uh, Paqueta objective from Foot Birthday a few years ago. Because it's yes. Brazilian Milan camp. Yeah. Yeah. I know, I'm, yeah. Um, Although, I've got another beef. Go on. With this card. He's not a good cam. Where did you play him? Striker? Striker. Right. I played okay. it. I tried him cam, by the way. Yeah. I didn't, you know, I was I was willing to branch out. He's yeah. a cam at cam. What a crazy concept, I know. Robbie, can you guess what I'm going to complain about? Has he got medium, medium? He does. Yeah. yeah. I think medium, medium, genuinely, I know I go on about it all the time, lads, but this year, for me, medium, medium players, they just get lost on the pitch, genuinely. Yeah. They just feel like... They just don't know where to be. I know what you he mean. He scored one goal from Cam. I used him there for three games. They just get lost, like, didn't know where to stand, sort of Yeah, thing. Joe Cole syndrome, Rob, genuinely. Yeah. I, 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 I couldn't find him on the pitch at yeah. all. Um which is saying something when he was my star player by a country mile yeah. in terms of like you know metaness, but yeah, moved him up to. So I, I tried him right striker first, and I'm like, 
okay. He feels, you know, this is an okay card. Yeah. You know, is he left footed? You say, yeah. He's left footed, yeah. Yeah. Um, not a waste of time. And then I used him at Cam, and I was like, Ugh, okay. And, you know, it, can I, it was a downward trajectory. I was thinking, yeah. oh god, what a waste of time. I've only done it for the token. Yeah. Um, and this guy's just fodder. Using him at left striker, zoom, flies up. Honestly, this guy is a left striker. That is his only position, in my opinion. In a, right. you know, in a four-two-three-one, maybe he could do better at camp, simply because the positioning around him is a bit better. But yeah. for me, his best position is a left striker in a two-strike. You know, whatever you want to play. I was playing four-one-two-one-two. Two, yeah, and he did really well there. Fair enough. Yeah, I can't believe we've gone five, six minutes in this video without making a reference to his name. Yes, he has a messy yes. ass. Yeah. Did he give you we a are... messy ass? Did he make you shit yourself at any point? Um, He actually did with a... Uh, I scored a sombrero flick. It was the first clip wow. that you guys yeah. will have seen. Obviously, I'm, I'm, I've milked it. I will put it in everywhere. But, yeah. bro, when I did that, I was like, oh, lordy. Yeah, that's, that's pretty ass. special. I'm not going to lie. It was yeah. not junior either. It was big. It was senior. Senior messy ass, yeah. Yeah. Um, um, as a side note, I... Now have a trio of juniors up top. Neymar, uh, Vinny, and him. Yeah. yeah. It's pretty nice, yeah. Guilfi Sigurdsson sitting on the bench crying. Or, you know, he might do it somewhere else other than crying, I suppose. He's got yeah, a blanket over him. Yeah. yeah, very true. Very true. Um, it's cold out there. Yeah. So why don't, on that sombre note, Jack, why don't you take us on to the end card? Okay. So, like I said, Rob, he's not going to set the world alight. There's okay. a couple of big things that annoy me about him mainly being the weak foot and the inconsistent shooting and getting lost on the pitch quite a bit. Yeah. Um, Strength-wise, it was okay. Passing-wise, it was okay. You know, it was kind of... Yeah. It was fine. Um, I gave him an 8.65. Okay. Which is still, like, decent. I mean, he's still... A, he's, he's a good card. Listen, when you think of what you're comparing it to, like, in terms yeah. of, like, just normal goals, he is, you know, he, he's really good. But when you compare him to what we've used... Yeah. He's not quite a nine, I think. Very if good have... if you've just sort of picked the game up. Yeah, really good. Yeah. I think he'll be really impressed with him. He can be definitely someone to build around. Yeah, definitely. For me, I wouldn't sniff at putting him on my team, to be honest with you. Um, really? Okay. But he's one of those where he just fills a spot. Yeah. How would you compare him to a recent objective yes. card? I assume you've used him now, Everton. Um, I like him more than Everton. I think really? he's better than Everton, yeah. Okay. Um, similar because he's got a five star. I think the five star gives a little bit something extra. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it's Definitely. an X factor that he's got over. You know, there's not many other players that have. Yeah. Um, in terms, you know, he's a good card. Yeah, value for time. Obviously, he's not. You know, he's, he costs nothing. Um, give him a ten. Yeah, it's worth doing it even for the token. Really, that's what I mean. You're gonna do it anyway yeah. because of the token. So you can, I mean. Why wouldn't you? There's going to be plenty of prizes that you can get with these tokens. So, yeah, yeah I give him a 10 because it is worthwhile doing. Definitely do it. Um, you know, even if you are going to use this guy's fodder, do it anyway. And then, best game style, I think, was Hunter. I mean, it says a lot, Robert, that I actually committed to Hunter. Wow, yeah, I'm um, impressed. Yeah, I, did, I was very close to Hawk, but then I saw how many Hunters I thought I had, so I thought, sod it. Yeah. Go on, why not? And for me, it's absolutely worth it. Will he be coming off the bench for me? Um, maybe. Yeah, who comes off the know. bench at camp for you now? Uh, no one. Oh right, okay. So who comes um, off the bench for stri striker? It's usually like Chong. Right. Okay. I don't know if he's better than Chong. To be honest yeah. with you, Chong's yeah. a really good card, by the way. If you've not done him, he's still out for a, a hot min. Yeah. Um, but yeah, he'll probably come on the bench just because he's a good option. <laughs> Yeah, 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 on on Sigurdsson, perhaps. Yeah. yeah um, best links, Rob. I've gone for the next gen Theo Hernandez. I know a lot of people got him. Yeah. And then new generation, next generation Theo pack. Hernandez, really. Or well, I'm about to say, I put him there because it was a pretty card. Yeah. His normal would do perfectly fine. You know, if you're just starting off, it's a great strong link to him. Yeah. Um, another good strong link, if you're you know going on the bit higher tier, is the rule breakers Kessie. Yes. Really good card. Um. Perhaps eclipsed slightly by some of the CDMs that we're seeing now. The, the CDMs have taken a big power curve jump 
really quickly with this have, promo. Yeah, the uh, um, Gibral Sozer has come out as well, and he yeah. has he's looked at me from across the bar. He looks tell you. crazy. He does. Um, yeah. Malinkovic looks great as well. He does actually. Yeah, Are you getting him in Jack? I've heard uh, rumors. <sighs> you know. I don't know. Is is there's rumors on the Twitter sphere, and that's all it is. But yeah, yeah. I feel like we've jumped from like you say you you for Farnas very quickly up to players that are a lot more agile and better than him all of a yeah, sudden with, within one promo which is kind of annoying but yeah what can you do and then final one i've just put Vinny. i put his player of the month but any vinicius will do yeah like i said at the start of the review this guy feels like a little mini Vinny. mini Vinny, that's really that's rolls off the tongue really nicely yeah, yeah. mini Vinny. i'm gonna title the video that maybe as well oh okay but yeah mini Vinny. his shoe is not as good his pace isn't as good his dribbling's not as good but it's kind of it's just toned down it? yeah yeah, it's a toned down version of him, which you know you can't sniff out for, for nothing. You yeah. get a token as well with him. So yeah, Rob. Yeah. Any final questions? It's a good card. That's you know not every card has to be a world beater. This no, card is, is fun. Is enjoyable. It's a pretty design as well. It looks pretty in the club. Get him great. in that Panini sticker book. Get it's him in. Pretty. Yeah. yeah. And I'm sure. I mean, he's 86 as well, so it's you know it's good fodder if you do need fodder. Yeah. But, yeah. If you need to, yeah. I mean, there's there's going to be daily SBC, so no doubt. This guy's going to oh, find yeah. his way into plenty of SBCs for you guys. If you have Hopefully done him, if you well. have tried him, let us know. Let us know if there's anyone else you want to review. Obviously, there's quite a few good cards in this promo. Um, next couple of days, we're looking at like Fabinho. Yeah. I want to try that to Wrapped as well. It looks like a fantastic card. It'll for be very cheap. a mini release of Modric, David, and someone else as well. Some yeah. other guy. Yeah. Jonathan David is on my radar. Don't you worry, ladies and gentlemen. He will be arriving in the account the moment he gets here. Yeah. Um, if it is true, if he does get a promo card, because yeah. obviously if, you, if you're a friend of the channel, I did a Jonathan David review at the start of the game. You fell in love, didn't you? I fell in love, and I can't wait for his juiced version of him, Rob. Yeah. Well, there you go, yeah. If you have enjoyed that, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Go follow us on Twitter. We like to keep you up to date with everything that's happening with us on there. In the meantime, I've been Robbie. I've been Jack. And we've been Backpage Gaming. See you later. See ya.